Hey everyone, it's Rob, and you know what? We're doing two videos in one day, and this one is, I believe, what everyone's been waiting for, and that is a new, updated 3D model. I can't believe I missed this the other day. It came out on the 30th of September, so I'm not that far behind, just a couple days, but I wanted to get this out to you guys right away, as I know everyone loves these, and everyone loves taking a look at the progress and the progression of this eruption. So let's dive right in. Now, the normal way that we would they would go way back in the day is we would walk through this valley in the left hand side here, and then we'd climb up, and you know you'd end up over on this side over here, obviously because lava that was closed off. So then we would go through this way, and then we would go up, and we would get a nice vantage point climbing up on these these viewpoints over here. Again, lava spilled over and blocked the path. So now uh, everyone, I mean, there is a back, back way over here. It's very difficult to get to. So the most, most people are going through this other, other way, which is coming, I believe it's path A and path C. So I, I always get them mixed up because everyone's kind of talking about different paths. But there's one way that's coming in basically from the bottom here. And this is the one that if they close the path, it's going to be this path that gets closed first just because if a lava starts flowing down this this way towards the valley i mean it's basically in hibernation mode right now but when the lava does pick up and flow down it, it could expand and flow very quickly through here so they don't want people walking up in this direction typically what, what's happening though is people are coming from a parking lot that's around over here in the bottom right where my mouse is this is the area that i personally really like going to now because it's, it's such a great walk. And I did a live stream a while back uh, showing the path around that area. And you, you kind of walk up here, it's nice and easy. And then you, you kind of come in this safe, this safe approach, if you will, to the lava. And then you can go down if it's safe to do so and take a look at the lava field and the hardened lava. Or what you can do, and it is difficult, so you just have to be very careful, and especially with the colder weather coming and snow, you climb up these mountains here. Now they don't look that high um, and they're not too difficult, but you can see, especially on this, this image here, you're doing these, uh, you know, these back and forth zigzags. It is very slippery because so many people are going on it. that it's, it's grinding down into a sand, which is the dangerous part. And that's what makes it very slippery. If you don't have really, really good shoes or those hiking poles are, are really good. So you can go zigzag your way up to the top here and get a pretty good vantage point, or you can kind of keep going along. It's quite a walk. Going up to this point, odds are, unless things are looking really good, you're not gonna get a really good look inside of the cone. You're gonna to have to keep walking all the way down to this viewpoint over here, you can see, See where it is. Uh, this one is harder. I haven't walked all of this way yet, but this is the one that if you're looking for a great viewpoint of the cone and looking into the cone, I mean, you can see here, if we kind of position it, you get one of the best views over here. So this is, this is the one that you would want to hike all the way to. Now it takes a long time to get here. The alternate way is rather than climbing up and going along sort of the ridge and on the top of the mountain, there is a path that's on the lower side over here. So rather than going up this way, you can do a turn earlier on and follow. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see the path here, but it's basically you're following a path along the outside and then you kind of come around up, up in this way. Now the, the total walking time to get to this far point I believe it's around three or four kilometers each way. So it's quite a while and you're looking at, I mean, depending on how quickly you walk, I would say you're looking at a couple hours of a, a total journey to the eruption. But if you're coming to Iceland and you've never been to a volcano or seeing these lava fields, I'd say it's definitely worth it. I mean, spend half a day, spend the full day and explore this area as much as you can. You can see here very clearly now, I know a lot of people, we were talking, you know, where is this lava going? And typically, if we're if it's going towards the road, it would be going down 
this valley here and continuing out. But a lot of the, the lava, as we know, had been changing direction and going down in this second area over here, which, you know, when it starts going again, if it starts going again, who knows where it will go, but odds are it's going to either be in this section over here, or of course, down in this valley. It's kind of the only two options for this eruption at this point. But that's it. That's the new 3D map. I mean, I'll, let me zoom out here. You can see they have a bunch of them. I will post a link to this. Brand new, September 30th. I'm so glad they have this. They have a, a bunch of them on here. If you want to take a look, you can click on 3D models and you can see exactly where they, where they have them and, and kind of go through. One thing I really like doing is, I mean, we just looked at the one from the 30th. If we scroll down, we can get one of these early versions. Yeah, let's just grab this one here. Taking a look at these, it's, always, it's kind of nostalgic because this is this is what it looked like when I first went, and we can see here just how just how tiny it is now. Do you know? Like it's a uh, yeah, just this small little small little eruption with a bunch of lava. I don't know if you can call cute eruption, but. It is what it is. Anyway, I will post the link in the description. Be sure to check it out. And as always, thank you so much for watching.